And this is a huge ring. And for this to come out today about Gerald Marie and us tracing those steps as we just did uh, to Jean-Luc Brunel and Epstein. New anti-aging supplements and serums come out all the time. We're constantly bombarded with them on TV, Facebook, and on store shelves. The problem with 99% of them is that they never work, but they keep getting released anyway. This is why I highly recommend Glow with Natalie. Glow with Natalie is the best anti-aging serum on the market today. Thousands of satisfied users report softer, clearer, smoother looking skin and disappearing age spots. Their skin looks and feels tight in weeks, not months. If you want to try this miraculous plant extract yourself, go to glowwithnatalie.com to get the Ageless Glow for 38% off today or click the link in the video description below. Muchachos y muchachas, and especially the mother muchachas out there, happy Mother's Day. I hope you had a great weekend. You celebrated with loved ones, great food, and maskless festivities. So let's jump into some details of today. Earlier, there was an article published by the Daily Mail in which it details some updates to an investigation into a modeling boss, a modeling agency boss. Now, in recent times, especially over the past year, actually the past two years, I'd say, we've learned of some new details in regards to the fashion and modeling industry, how dark they are. And there are some things that happened under the table that not many people have known in the public light. But with the recent details, you know, with Epstein, Jean-Luc Brunel, and even now Peter Nygaard, which I think hasn't even surfaced yet, you know, we're starting to get to know the fashion and modeling industry a little bit more intimately. So let's jump straight into some of these details. This, again, was published by the Daily Mail. Predator bosses at elite modeling agency, which, by the way, elite models, one of the biggest agencies in the world. I mean, the creme de la creme. So Predator bosses at elite modeling agency had a league table of models they had slept with called the podium of P word with extra points for virgins and younger women. Whistleblower tells French police probing the 1990s rape claims. A former modeling boss in assisting French detectives who are investigating historic allegations of rape and sexual abuse at elite agency. The whistleblower claims top executives had a scoreboard they called the podium of P word, where they would award points for betting women with more points for virgins and younger models. So I'm going to actually get into some details, into some possible connections with this story and Epstein and Jean Lebrunel. Just hold tight. French prosecutors revealed last year they were investigating the allegations of rape and sexual abuse made against former agency boss Gerald Marie. The claims were which, sorry, Marie was strenuously did not have strenuously denied were made by 13 women, four of whom who are British. Now, as you guys can see here, picture this is Gerald Marie on the left and Eva Evangelista, if you guys don't know, big, big time supermodel in the 90s. She was on every single catwalk you could imagine of every prestigious designer. And he was married to her at one point. We are, we'll also get into that as well. Now they say they were assaulted during the 1980s and 90s while working with Marie, the former European head of elite. Now business man Omar Harfouche, who has worked with the agency, is reportedly assisting French authorities with their investigation and has shed light on the culture he claims to have witnessed, according to Sunday Times. Mr. Harfouche, who worked with elite over the three past, I'm sorry, over three years, told the newspaper, I explained to the police to help them in their investigation how it worked. Gerald Marie and his few bookers from the agency had a board where they would write down who slept with the most women. The criteria for this competition was their ages. The younger they were, the more points and the more virgins, the more points. At the end of each fashion week, they would compare their exploits. And this is uh, Omar Harfouche, the uh, 
alleged dude who is helping the French authorities with the investigation. The younger the were, the more points. The more virgins, the more points. At the end of each fashion week, they would compare their exploits. Which Let's just pause right there. We know that the fashion industry... They favor a lot of the younger demographic for these runway shows, for modeling jobs. And a lot of times, these girls are underage. They're like, they could start at like 14. I mean, these girls are underage. Harfouche, whose relationship with the the agency ended acrimoniously, described Marie as a sexual predator and said he often uses vulgar language when speaking about women lisa brinkworth a 53 year old bbc journalist is one of the lead complainants in the investigation claiming marie sexually assaulted her in 1998 while she was working undercover to expose sexual crimes in the fashion industry she told the time she was so grateful for her Fouche, who has spoken out and urged other executives to do the same american model and former face of calvin klein carrie otis 51 has also accused marie of raping her when she was just 17 working in paris the former face of Calvin Klein first spoke out about her experience in an explosive memoir in 2011. Spokesman for Elite World Group, which owns Elite's European agencies, told the newspaper, Gerald Marie has never worked with Elite Group. We find these alleged criminal acts egregious and abhorrent. Elite is now made up of two companies with U.S. and European arms. Marie worked with the European company up to 2010. So I'm going to take you to this. This was an article uh, that was written last year. And again, this is when the investigation was first launched into Gerald Marie. So this is more specified into Linda Evangelista. So she has a very unique and interesting connection to the latter, Epstein and Brunel. Linda Evangelista sides with ex-husbands for rape accusers. So last year, it started off with four accusers. Now it has escalated into 13. So it says that she has publicly sided with the four models who have accused her ex-husband, elite modeling agency head, Jerome Marie, of sexual misconduct and rape. Uh, she praised them with, for courage and strength. She was uh, married to him. From 1987 to 1993, she says in a quote, during my relationship with Gerald Marie, I knew nothing of these sexual allegations against him. So I was unable to help these women, Evangelista told the paper, hearing them now. And based on my own experiences, I believe that they are telling the truth. It breaks my heart because these are wounds that may never heal. And I admire their courage and strength of speaking out today. Um down here we're going to skip down here and uh because it just talks about generically the um the investigation and then at the bottom paragraph of this article it says marie who is the modeling boss that is being accused of rape isn't the only modeling boss accused of sexual misconduct and rape the modeling agency was rife with bad behavior for years pedal perv jeffrey epstein Former Paul model agent Jean-Luc Brunel has been accused of rape as well as trafficking girls for his friend. While elite founder John Casablancas had a thing for young girls dating Stephanie Seymour when she was just 15, he was 41, and marrying Aline Wormlinge when she was just 17 and he was 50. So there's a look, let me tell you something. This will um, I believe that actually. I believe Lisa Blinkworth, I think the the first article, here we go, Lisa Brinkworth, rather. This woman is actually, I believe, making a documentary on this entire thing. But as you can already tell, this is a big ring happening in the modeling industry and in the fashion industry. If you just connect the, the major parts, for instance, the fashion designers, which I believe are also in the mix when it comes to uh, these nefarious activities, hence Peter Nygaard, um, y- you'll you'll assess for yourself that this is a big ring happening. Um, so th- which takes me to this article written in 2007, which I found as a gem to connecting these pieces together. Now, I'll just state and preface that this is all alleged, in my opinion, um, that 
the things that I might say, uh, you know, I have been assessing all of the things that have been coming out since 2019 recently in regards to these sort of topics with Epstein and all his his enablers. So let's jump into this. Again, this is from page six, and this was written in 2007. Model Shop denies Epstein tie. So as you guys may or may not know, Jean-Luc Brunel, he owned MC2 Modeling Agency. MC2 was a spinoff from what I believe it was either from Ford Models or Elite Models. I'll have to clarify that. But he was actually a modeling scout for one of the major modeling agencies. Again, I think it was either Elite or it was Ford. And from that, um, that agency, Epstein actually had access to the agency. He would walk in to the agency and actually go to the director's office, close the door. And I believe, and again, I've done a documentary on this. It's called uh, Fashion Dark. You can go to my website and watch it. It's in the exclusives. You won't be charged. But he, Epstein had direct ties with a modeling agency head. And again, it was one of the creme de la cremes. He would walk straight in and, um, you know, have access. I believe that they could have, and this is not 100%. I'm just going based off corroborative events. I believe that Epstein had access to the girls at the agency. So it states here uh, that, I'm sorry, let me back up. Jean-Luc Brunel from that agency also had interaction with Epstein. And from there, Jean-Luc Brunel did a spin-off of his own agency called MC2 Models. Now, there was a big controversy between the first agency, the bigger one, and MC2 because Jean-Luc Brunel, he was siphoning the business and the models and the contacts and all that from the elite agency. And that agency didn't like that very much. Just a little knowledge for you. The owners of MC2 models are denying industry speculation that massage maven Daffy Epstein is a secret financial backer of the agency being run by a scandal scarred Jean-Luc Brunel, who was once accused of taking advantage of underage girls. Now, this is also believed, but it is believed that J Jeffrey Epstein actually bankrolled Jean-Luc Brunel to start MC2 agency models. Epstein, who is uh, this week agreed to plead guilty to soliciting, I'm sorry, this was back in 2007. So this is the first time he uh, pled guilty to trafficking underage girls. There's no such thing as underage prostitutes. They are underage girls at his Florida mansion. He reportedly gave millions to start MC2 models, which opened in 2005 in October with offices in New York, Miami and Tel Aviv. One of the girls, Ep uh, the Epstein, was accused of soliciting massages from was described in court documents as just being 14 years old. So. Karen's Models founder, Brunel, who currently partners with MC2, again, back in 20, 2007, denied allegations in a 1997 60 Minutes segment that he took advantage of young models who were high on drugs. Brunel also reportedly left his Trump Tower digs in 1999 after complaints of night carousing, which he also denied. Disgraced former elite models exec, Gerald Marie is also involved with MC2, says our source. Is this not a bombshell waiting to happen? Oh, guys, share this video. I mean, who like who makes these this? This is some big connection if this is true. And again, this is back in 2007. That's why I dig for the gold, because sometimes this stuff is very revealing and it just boomerangs back. But. If this is true, this is a big, huge pedophile, I'm sorry, a big, huge sex trafficking ring within the modeling and fashion industry that many, I'm sure, would know about, especially those big supermodels. Disgraced former elite models, executive Gerald Marie is also involved in MC2, says our source. Marie was accused of having sex with underage models in 1999 BBC documentary. 
where he was filmed saying he hoped to seduce contestants in a modeling contest in which the average age of participants was 15 years old. He also dated Linda Evangelista when she was a teen. He later married her. He, he's also involved in the agency, said the source. Gerald and Jean-Luc like the same things. They hang out because they have young girls in common, like two guys who enjoy the same wine. MC2 president Jeffrey Fuller confirmed Brunel was a partner with the company, but denied with any working relationship with either Epstein or Marie. And this is what he had to say. We have no relationship business-wise with Gerald Marie. Jeffrey Epstein has no ownership or involvement in our company and never has. Jean-Luc Brunel and I are the only two partners and owners of MC2 Model Management, Fuller said. And Epstein's rep said, he doesn't have any ties. Bull crap. I, in my opinion, I always have to say that, in my opinion. So, if true, this is a huge connection. This is a huge ring. And for this to come out today about Gerald Marie and us tracing those steps as we just did uh, to Jean-Luc Brunel and Epstein. Look, Jean-Luc Brunel has been arrested. He's he's in custody, apparently. Jelaine Mac Galen Maxwell, we're still awaiting her trial. It's going to happen in the fall. All of these pieces, I don't think are things to just sweep under the rug. I think that there is something huge on the horizon and I believe that we'll know more. But for now, those are the connections that we can make retrospectively looking at different, uh, you know, articles. But that is a connection that I perceive right now that will be bigger on the surface. So what do you guys think about all this? Did you know that about Jean-Luc Brunel, Gerald Marie Epstein and all that? Isn't that some crazy stuff about the modeling industry and possibly how so many victims that have been unheard? It's it's dark. I know it's dark. It's it's big and it is bigger than us. And I believe that I'm hoping that this will come to the surface soon. So, guys, leave your thom uh, thoughts and thumbs. Leave your thumbs and comments. Leave your thoughts and your comments in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share it if you'd like to help me. And yeah, let other people know about these connections. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you in the next video.